Now, this one's about 40 pounds. Up until Mother's Day this past year, I owned the largest alligator snapping turtle in the world. Igor's shawl was 36 inches long, 32 inches wide. He was almost six feet from tail to snout, and he weighed 206 pounds. On Mother's Day, he died of natural causes, old age. Most experts put him somewhere in the 200 plus range. An amazing turtle. Um, very sad day, still not over that loss. When you own a lot of animals and work with a lot of animals, sometimes you feel guilty because things die and you don't get as bummed out as you used to be. You go, man, am I a jerk or something? But some animals die and it wakes you up. I'm happy that wasn't anything we did wrong. When an animal dies, the first thing I do is find out why. And it costs a lot of money to do extensive studies on the animal. You have to send out their, their organs and tissue to find out what happened. Whenever it comes back that it was not my fault, then you know I'm still bummed, but better than if I did it myself. These guys will camouflage. Uh, they look mean, but they're very shy uh, turtles. It is the only uh, turtle in the world that has that little worm-like appendage in its mouth. It's not a tongue. I have read recently that some was that they're saying it was a tongue. It's not a tongue. It's a fleshy appendage, and it's the bottom of the mouth. And what they do, they pump blood into that, and it turns reddish pink and wiggles around. And when it wiggles around, it attracts. I've seen on video fish, frogs, eels, crayfish, even uh, a clam or a mussel um, go inside the mouth. Uh, other turtles. Uh, swim right inside the mouth, and when you swim inside, there's not a whole lot good that's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I'll show you. I give him a drink of water. Yeah, let's see. Ready? There you go. So, there you go. Okay. There you go. Here, take. There you go. Have a nice drink. So, okay. You want, you can have it. So that's Chad's water for the ride home. <laughs> so this one here, I'm hoping that he outlives me. I'm hoping to live to be like 100 myself. Um, and I'm hoping this guy is, you know, all my animals that are going to outlive me are all going to be property of, of my kids. So that is an alligator snapper. He has allergy on him. In the nice weather, he's outside. Once the temperature drops, even though many people have told me I could get away with housing him outside in a deep enough pond for the winter, I'm a little paranoid of it. So I just bring him in. And uh, I feed them all year round, and that seems to work fine. I've been keeping alligator snappers my entire life and had really good success with them. So um, definitely my favorite turtle in the world. Now, see where my hand is right here? It just, just for your own knowledge, if you go out to catch turtles locally, because we catch a lot of, we spend a lot of time in the nice weather in swamps and rivers and lakes and ponds catching turtles and stuff like that. It's, me and my wife have done a lot of research on common snappers, and I just take my kids, you know, so they know what it's like to get muddy and catch turtles. Um, you can't put your hand here with a common snapper that you catch around here. We measured uh, a couple hundred tr common snappers. Most of the necks only came back to this first bump, even though some people say they come back to here. Just the first, uh, the, the first bump in the shell. But I, have some, I had some that came back to here. So if you put your hand anywhere up here uh, like this with the common snapper, you're going to lose it. And they bite quite hard. And once they bite, bite onto your hand or finger, they really do not like to let go. So.